Hey guys, it's Ryan Smith from Ryan Gamers, and today we'll do a tutorial on custom worlds and creating new worlds on Minecraft worlds. Do you think it was not easy as this? But let me tell you, it's more than easy than you thought it would be to get custom worlds on your server. So let's get started. So, first of all, head to your dashboard, which you see over here, and you're gonna click on the option maps. So, over here, you see mm, my maps, uh, the one which is highlighted, it says active. That's my main map. So, the map that players will spawn in, and the other two on the side are the maps that I've created and imported. So, you can create a new world by typing the world name over here and the uh, seed over there here Brian is an idiot okay yeah whatever but I'll just put it Ryan gamers rocks and I'll just add it so I'll start the process so just let it happen so there you go now it has finished so as you see the world has been set to active means that is the main world of your server and soon as players join the game they'll be spawned in that world but in my case I'm using essentials as you see so I spawn in my spawn world so in essentials you can set the spawn on the world that you want that's why if you do slash world it will take you to the nether yeah, see, because the world, you have to do it like two more times until you get to the test world. That's why it's better to use the multiverse plugin. Now I spawned in another world, and this is not the test world. <laughs> so you can use the multiverse plugin to list the number of worlds, which makes it more easier, and you can also manage the uh, world. So you just do MVTP test, and there you go, this is the biome that was generated. Hmm, from the seed that we used that was Ryan Gamers Rocks. You can also use FTP file transfer protocol of the from the control panel to upload your custom world and it should appear in the maps menu where you can set it as active that is the world that people will spawn in but you can use essentials to set in the world that you want the players to spawn in by default and have other worlds and with the help of multiverse core which is much more easier the links will be in description guys just remember so this is the tab where you see FTP you click on it and you get all your credentials over there and you can use a client like FileZilla to uh, uh, to log on to your FTP uh, and then over here as you see the world has been set to active so I just want to change it back to my normal world which consists of the spawn though it don't want to make a difference so here we go and whoop it's done so now guys uh, thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe this video and please share it and subscribe me and tell others to subscribe my channel if they like minecraft and check out the MGN network a special network for gaming where everyone grows together and I need stuff for my minecraft server the IP is in description play the ultra MC the org so you can just apply on the website so I think I better get going now and yeah like and subscribe bye